Hello everyone. I'm Yuki, a sales consultant in the APAC team at Saibozu. Thank you for watching this video. In this video, we talk about Kenton product updates every month. Now, I ask Teso-san, a Kenton business product manager, about Kenton product update of October. Hello, Teso-san. Can you hear me? Yeah, Hi. Yeah, sure. Or it's getting very, uh, it's getting chilly these days. But how are you? Uh, it's getting really cold. In yeah, Japan it's right very now. cold. Yes. How are you? Are you good? Well, so so. <laughs> <laughs> I want a time to sleep, but yeah, me busy too. is a good thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's get started. Mm -hmm. well, here are the main updates of October, and what is the highlight this month? Well, I think the third and the fourth item is a very good update for, especially for the new user of Kento. Okay, so let's take a look at each update. Mm -hmm. First, our now we can create app template files quickly and easily on the app setting page. So please explain the details. Yeah. First of all, uh, Yuki, do you know what is an app template is? Mm, yeah, as a sales consultant, uh, I sometimes want to share uh, app template files with customers, so I sometimes use it. Okay, so what is app template for then? Mm. What is app template? Uh, app template, mm. uh, I don't know, I'm not <laughs> sure. <laughs> I cannot explain. Okay. All right, I, I'm sure you can explain in Japanese, but let me take care from you here. Mm. Okay, so the app template is very easy. So you make an app, uh, any app that you like, you drag and drop and make your own app. And then yeah. sometimes you, there are times that you want to share that app to another environment. So mm. if you want to make another same app in your own environment, it's very easy because you can just reuse the app. But passing it to another domain you will make an app template. It's a zip mm -hmm. file. Mm -hmm. So if you go to the kenton.com manage, manage settings place, and then mm -hmm. if you click make an app template, you can make that app as a zip file. And then you can share that to another person who has the different domain. And that person, mm -hmm. all they have to do is to just get that zip file and then import it. So we make that function very more easier. So if you want to create an app from the app template, we already have a place. If you click the creating new app, you can make from scratch, you can from Excel, CSV, and also you have that items called create from template file. So the making the app from an app template was very easy, but making the app template itself was not that easy. So we made an update to that. So if you want to share some kind of app and you don't want to waste your time, just go to your app setting and click the download app as template in the app setting. Mm -hmm. If you just click that, that app template will immediately come off with a zip file. And all you have to do is to share that to another person. Oh, I see. Yeah, there used to be a bit of page transitioning uh, when we wanted to create app template. But now we can quickly and easily create app template on the app setting page. So I'm so happy with this update uh, to share app template file with uh, our customers. Yeah, exactly. So there are quite times that you want to share an app template because you don't know what's wrong with that app and mm -hmm. you immediately want to share it. But if that user are not used to Kintone, they don't know how to go to the management settings and then choose the yeah. template. And if you make an app template on that side, you have to, that app template will remain in your domain, which is not quite good because you don't want that. You just want a template file and then send it to the uh, partner or support center. So that's how you use an app template file. So I hope this will ensure many Kintone users that are not so much friendly with Kento. Okay, let's move on to the next. So now we can reorder options as we like. Tateso-san, can you explain the details? 
So we had an update to disable the reuse function, right? We cannot. Yeah. We can make the app to not to use the copy the、mm -hmm. same record to another re record with an app because、mm -hmm. there are times that you don't want to make all the fields copied. Just、mm -hmm. want to make a certain field copy, and we explained that that if you want to do that, you can use the action function. That is a function to copy a certain data from another、uh, app, and you can use that to the same app that you are using. You, so you can copy the fields in the, to the same app. And so we made that update, and we noticed that wait a minute. Right now we cannot reorder the actions. So if you make the actions button, and that will display to the record details view. And the order is like the depends on when you make it. So the first you make it, that will comes to the first place. So, for example, you make a, some kind of, for example, if you already have an interview action button and the others action button, like it's in this image file. And if you make another action that is called in process. And you can simply imagine that you want to put that button in front of every actions because that's the first action that you're going to use. But、uh, we couldn't reorder it in the last、uh, kinto, so we made an update. So you can see in the action settings that there's a drag and drop place, which is a triangle up and down mark. So you can click that and then drag it to anywhere you like. And then that will reorder the actions buttons order. Oh, I see.、Uh, there are many things we can do with Kintone when we use action. And thanks to、uh, this update, we can reorder the action buttons so we can use action more usefully. Yeah,、uh, <laughs> we really hope that action is more、uh, usable for all the users. And I want all the Kintone users to use this action function because. It's really, really important, and it's very useful. Yeah. Thank you. So let's move on to the next. The next one. We added links to help topics in dialog boxes for app settings. Tapisa san, can you explain the details? Sure. Uh, I want to ask Yuki. If you have a function that you don't know in Kintone, what would you do? Hmm. I will search the internet and、uh, I will check the Kintone website, but there are a lot of information, so it's sometimes hard to find the right information.、Okay. So you go to the Kintone homepage. That's great. I think most of the user will just Google it.、Mm. <laughs> I'll just Google、yeah. Kintone lookup or how、mm. to use Kintone or something like that. So if you are good enough to to Kintone, of course you don't. Need that kind of things, but if you are a first learner of Kintone, you don't get the image of what Kintone's each function can do. For example, this is the app settings of the process management in the screen. So if you don't know what the process management, of course you know what the process management is, but you don't know what that function in Kintone is. So we put a short description that you can get an image of what you can do in Kintone. And also, we put a button that is called Help. You can see at the top. And if you press that, you can immediately, immediately go to the Kenton help. So, if you want to know what this function is, it's really quick. Just one click, and that will guide to the Kenton help. Oh, I see.、Hmm. So thanks to this update, when we don't understand how to use each function,、uh, just click the question mark, and we can directly access the right instruction page. Yes. So、uh, it enables users to learn how to use Kintone efficiently. Yes.、Mm. You don't want to go back and forth with the, another bl browser and Kintone, right? You have to、yeah. go and Google search.、Mm. You, you want to stick to Kintone because you're now using Kintone. Yeah. Mm, it's a great update. Okay, so let's move on to the next. And oh, it's similar to the previous one. We added、uh, links to help page for field settings as well. So,、mm. do you have any comment on this? 
Yes, so the, what we did is quite same. We just add mm. the link, but not only to the settings page, but we also add it to the each fields. Mm. So there are fields name that are only you can see in Kintone, like for example, lookup, right? Mm. Right. So if it's like a date field or date time field or label, you kind of get an image what you can do. So you mm. don't need to see the help, but lookup, what is that? So in that case, you can go if you after you drag and drop the lookup and see the settings, and you can immediately see the help. And also, if we if we have the details of that settings, we also set another link so that you can see what the lookup field is. So these two are great updates for beginners and for me. Oh uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay, thank you. So let's move on to the next. So we can now see what an app uh, when one uh, I'm sorry when an app was created on the app management page. So, Mr. San, can you explain the details? I think you can explain this detail. First <laughs> <of all. laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, can you explain it then? <laughs> no, please explain. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a Japanese talk, right? <laughs> <laughs> So we already have a, a function that you can download the app management uh, information, like name, what's the app name, how many records you use, who made it, and who updated, and when was the last time. So we also added one small information, but it's very important information, which is created date time. So now you can see when the app is created and how many records are used. So by compa uh, complaining, uh, sorry, not complaining, you, you don't complain. <laughs> by comparing it, you can see that if it's a new app or it's a very old app, and you can see when it is updated. If it's like made like three years ago and it doesn't been updated for like all the time, then maybe you can see, hey, is this app is used? Because I only see 10 records and there's like only five fields and nobody's touching it. Is it usable? Mm -hmm. So we made it to, so that it's more easier for the app admins to see it. Oh, I see. So now we can get more information about an app. So it helps us to sort out which app we need and which app we don't need. Yes. Okay. Thank you. So let's move on to the next. A new API was added for the mobile view and we can get record list field elements. And I don't I don't understand what it is about. So what will happen if we can get record list field elements? So we already have this function in PC. Mm -hmm. uh, so desktop. So you go into the Chrome or Safari or any other browser by using PC. Uh, you can see the Kinton screen, right? Yeah. And it's uh, of course Kintone's uh, move in the web page. So there's each element that will represent each like fields or design or like title or app name. All are called elements. Mm -hmm. And because Kintone will offer you an API that you can grab that element, that's why you can like change the colors or calculate anything using the API of Kintone. So that's mm -hmm. a customization. But the uh, problem was that we didn't provide that API to the mobile view. So there was a time that, okay, I want to make the color red if the status is emergency. And the, so the SI partner can say that, oh yeah, we can do that by customization. And after that, the customer says like, oh, okay, can I see that in mobile? And then the customer uh, partner said, oh, sorry, we don't have that. We cannot do that in mobile. Mm -hmm. So that was a pain point. But now we made that API to be able to catch that elements. Now you can have the same function in the mobile. Mm -hmm. I see. That's great. I think more and more people are using Kinton on mobile as well. But there is still a large gap between PC view and mobile view, right? Yeah. So I think it is a great update for those who often use Kintone or mobile. Yeah, exactly. And I think the most customization will, I think, will update their customization mm. to mm. be useful in mobile. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So let's move on to the next. 
And、uh, this one is also similar to the previous one. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, a new API was added for the mobile view, and we can get record field element as well. So, do you have any comment on this? Um, not really. It's quite same as the previous、mm. update. So the difference is that you can get the elements in the rec、uh, list view, and then、mm. this slide just says that you can do the same thing in the record view. So、mm. it's definitely not a. It's just the same update. Okay. So, Pesosan, thank you. So this is the end of today's video. So、to our partners, if you have any question, please contact us on Kintone. And to our customers, if you get an interest in Kintone, please contact our partner in、uh, in each country. So thank you for watching this video, and see you next month. So bye. Bye.